Okay guys, in the beginning, let me just draw over this to show you just a few things. Just uh, how this is looking when it's more stylized. The, the main forms, the main shapes, that's the most important thing. So first, this here, what is this? This line is your pelvis, the pelvis line. From this point upward uh, comes the body. The body is from this point upward. From this point down and from this line down are all the muscles of the leg. So let's see how simplified we can make the, the leg from the front. So from the front, we'll get pelvis point and then we'll get, we go outward from the pelvis. This is a male leg, outward from the pelvis. And then we'll have this kind of a bump in here. And then we stop, stop. Then we will have outward line, which is a curve, uh, outward. And then it goes in and stops in here, just above the knee. Then we'll have straight line down, which will be our knee. So remember that uh, between the upper leg and the lower leg, you have a knee, which is like a box, generally like a box. Okay, so again, from here, we have going outward a little bit, then the peak point will be around this area, and then we go down and then knee. Okay, after the knee, we start going outward again, and then go inward. So this outward and inward will be our calves. I'll press Ctrl Z and try to follow it completely. Okay, this is our calves from the front view. And this is the side calves. So this is the middle of the body here, around the middle of the body is here, this line. So how the inner leg, we can present it mm, easier, like um, main shapes. It will be just a straight line from here to around here, just a straight line. This is very simplified. And I will, sh I will draw it to you also on the side just to see. And then here we'll have something like a triangle shape pointing outward. Just a triangle pointing outward. Uh, this is the middle of the, the body. And this doesn't go much in the, than that because otherwise you will step on your feet if it goes in more. It's, it's not gonna go in. It's always going out. As you see from the back view, this is the straight line here, the middle of the body. And the whole foot is going outward from that. Okay? Okay. Now, let's draw it here. Let me just move my mouse here and let's draw it in this area. Yeah, the mouse doesn't bother. So this is our pelvis and this is the line that the legs start from. So the legs start from this kind of a very wide line. And as you can see, this length here is much wider than all those lengths in here. So the leg is wider at the top, as you can see. That's very important. So we start from this line. This is our body on the top and we go outward a little bit. Then we stop and then we go outward a little bit more and then we go in. So this will be the middle of the body around this area. Let's see. Okay. And what we do here is we stop in here. This is our knee and then we go out again, but not too much. And then we go in and this is the thinnest portion in here. And we will have something like this. Yeah. I drew it a little bit lower, but uh, you see, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of okay. We see it. So this is kind of the leg, how it looks and how in the beginning when we sculpt the leg, we have to do it. Of course, uh, then I will explain a little bit about this line in here, which is coming from the edge, around the edge of our pelvis. Not exactly the edge, as you can see, it's coming from here. It's not from here, it's coming from here. So a little bit inside the edge and it's going down and it wraps around here. And it may, it's making usually one teardrop shape when we have a muscle or leg. Uh, and this is part of the quadriceps here. This is this teardrop in the inside portion of the leg. Uh, below it, it's a little bit of a bump, as you can see this bump in here, this, which are some muscles and tendons which are going uh, into the lower leg. 
and then behind them is peeking our calves. They are peeking behind here, as you can see, peeking. Hello, what's happening? Okay, whatever. So this looks very cool. Let's see how leg look from the side view. It's very important because when we start doing the leg after a few minutes, when we start modeling it, we first will model exactly those main shapes in the beginning, and the model, the the leg will take uh, its uh, main shape very quickly if you know those things. So, from the side view, we see this is the pelvis, and from the pelvis down, we go down and stop. Okay, here we go uh, outward, backwards uh, for the ass, and then we do this because. He has eaten a little bit of beans. Ah, they were not prepared properly and this happens uh, usually, yes, I know. Yeah, it happens with me too, but let's delete it and continue. This doesn't bother us at all. I mean, when we sculpt, we don't do this. So, then we go down. And this is our the back of our upper leg. And this here, we go a little bit forward and then we go back also. If we go back a little bit more than even here, it will be more dynamic. The leg will look more dynamic, but I will show you uh, later. And we stop here. This is the top of our knee. Then we have our knee, which will be like straight down and then backwards line. I always stylize the knee in the beginning like this, and then I even leave it like this in some cases, because it's easier to remember. It's like straight down line and then backwards. And then you see this line here, this dot here, which is the bottom of our knee. If we go up from it, from it, we'll go to almost the middle of the leg. So remember, don't make this point forward here. It's it's looking bad. Make it like at, at least at the middle of the leg, and then your front lower leg comes from there. Usually, it has a little bit of a bump in here, and then goes down, and then goes to the to the feet. Uh, where our calves are starting is. About, about the uh, upper portion of our knee. And then the calves are starting from there and then are going down like this. So we're going out and like this and like this. Amazing, right? So what is to remember here? Uh, the thickest portion of the leg is around this area, as you can see, the thickest portion. Then it goes thinner and thinner here. And then here it's even thinner this is a little bit wider maybe, but a little bit, very tiny. And then thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner un until it reaches this point where is the thinnest of the leg. But overall, this is a very good representation of the leg. This is from Anatomy for Sculptures book. It's very nice and uh, you can find it in the internet. You can, of course, buy the book. I bought it for myself. In this case, this is from the internet. I'm sorry, but I bought it from... Uh, I have it. I have the book by myself. But here I'm just showing some things. So yeah, let's just see the same things in a person, a normal person. So here this is, a, a, of course, again from Anatomy for Sculptures book. book but uh, this, the side view, it doesn't look very good. It looks like the guy is kind of falling backwards a little bit. If you want it to be more dynamic, you should do more of an S-curve. And I will show you when we start sculpting. So those muscles here, you see, this muscle, by the way, is the most interesting muscle for me of the leg. This is one of the longest muscles of the human body. Maybe the longest. Some people say it's the longest. Uh, it's called sartorius or something, but I call it, and many people also call it, uh, the tailor muscle. Because sartorius in uh, Latin, I think, means tailor or something. Uh, in Bulgarian, it's also called tailor muscle. So it comes from here, from the most forward point of the pelvis, uh, it attaches there, and then it goes wrap around and separates, very importantly, it separates the quadriceps muscle, which is, this is the quadriceps muscle, this, so this is one, two, three, and the other one is inside, you cannot see it, so this is the quadriceps here, and uh, this, the, the sartorius muscle is wrapping around and separating and making the form, separating those muscles here from the quadriceps muscles. And this is your teardrop, teardrop muscle here. The teardrop is always lower than the outer portion of the quadriceps. So it makes something like this shape overall. But as I said, 
this doesn't matter if we don't put it into practice. So let's put it into practice. But before we put it into practice, what we should do always is not always, but I like to do a little simple what? A little simple body. Okay. And time to sculpt. I'm very excited because I like to sculpt a lot. And let's do the body. The body, of course, will be something like um, a shape of a beanie, but with uh, shoulders. So beanie with shoulders and chest area. And uh, then rib cage and all the stuff. But overall, it will be kind of simple. I don't want to put too much time to this because this, after all, is for the legs. Of course, I will do if I haven't have. I don't think I have a video about the torso. I will do a separate video about the torso and I will tell you mm, the most important things for the torso in about 30 minutes if we can. If we can, I'm not sure if we can, but we'll see. Uh, until we are doing the torso here, I will tell you about, you can go down to the description and you can see my courses. You can buy them if you want, if you like how I explain things, because I always always explain things this way. As you see me here, with the camera, with everything, all my courses are made with camera. You always can see me, you always can see when I'm joking or not, because sometimes you cannot, um, because I'm not uh, laughing when I'm joking most of the time. So yeah, uh, I'm lying here. I, you cannot see me joking. It's You have to sense it, you know, you have to be sensitive about the jokes. Uh, but I'm not always joking since I'm explaining very serious things here, anatomy and stuff. So this will be our basic torso. We don't want to put too much time into this torso since, as I told you, this is a video about legs mostly. Only about legs. So I will put the pelvis forward. The most forward the pelvis is, the more dynamic the pose will be. And our guy from the side, he will look something like this. So this will be his torso like this. Then we will have our pelvis in here. Our legs will come like this. This will be our ass, of course, here. And you see how our legs will go very much backward, but it doesn't matter because they can go forward from here and he will look dynamic. He will not look like he's uh, just about to sit and shit. Because sometimes when you're doing this kind of models, uh, your model can look like he's about to kind of go down and shit because you are making this kind of a bend into the knees. And if the knees are very straight, it will be better. Believe me, it will be better. So uh, I'm not completely happy with our torso, but it's okay for now. And I will just start doing the leg with a big half sphere. So uh, not half sphere, but whole sphere, whatever. The idea here is that uh, you shouldn't always do the thing the way I do it. I do them because I like to do them more fast and what is more uh, appropriate for me. Of course, in the courses, I'm showing the proper way most of the time. Yeah, most of the time. So now the ass from the side view, this, which we're going down from the pelvis, we're going down down and then we're going this kind of arch and then we have an arch back which will be our calves from the front view we're going uh, sideways or outward and then we'll have our knee area which is not visible here i will remesh with control r as you can see my keys they are here up here so you can see them it's not a problem and let's see here in the back calves just inflate Inflate this area here, make a line in here, and yeah, something like this forward. But first, below the pelvis, we always have a straight line. As you can see, straight line, even a little bit more back. And then we have kind of a forward, and then the rest. We can push this even further back. And here we will make our knee, which I always like to make it from the side view. I stylize it, as I said. Okay, or did I say it? I'm not sure, but whatever. This is our calves. Uh, make sure your calves are not super huge and make sure the inner portion of your leg, if your leg is straight down, if it's not uh, like going outwards or something, the inner portion to be kind of a straight line. So I will push this even more in. 
The problem always with the leg is the foot, uh, for me at least. Um, before I uh, start doing more legs and make practice, I was it was very difficult to make legs for me because I came from a 2D background and I don't really uh, like the drawing legs. And that was a problem. I like drawing muscular men, but only the upper part. And then that was an issue. But now I have practiced a lot for the legs and that kind of makes me a little bit better in making legs. I will push this a little bit back, 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 back. Okay, and this, of course, as I told you, the foot is always outward. It's not in like this, it will look bad, it's always out. But of course, we need more geometry, so I will remesh again with Control r and continue working on this foot. The foot always in the beginning, I hate doing foot by, feet, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, still, I can do them, but they require more time. And uh, I don't usually have that time. Why? Because I like to do things very quickly. Of course, this is just my um, way of thinking. You shouldn't do things uh, super quick, you should do them nicely. Okay? Quick is not the way. If you can do it quick, it's okay, but in the beginning you have to aim for precision, you have to aim for quality. Quickness or speed is not exactly what you need, especially in the beginning. Alright, so this is basically our leg. It could be a little bit small, a little bit not too long. Let me just put our mirror modifier because it will help us. Yeah, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's it's okay. Maybe our torso is a little bit too wide, probably. But we cannot quite know where our when our leg is too big or too wide or whatever uh, or too small our legs until we have uh, arms and until we have head. But in, in this video, I don't want to do all character. It's not uh, the point of this video. The point of the, this video is to show you the main forms of the legs and how you can sculpt them. Not quickly. Don't do it quickly. Quickly is not the way. No way to go. So, next, we have the ass. But the ass is not exactly like this. We have to push it in. As you can see here, it's pushed in. I will inflate this area, rotate all the time, and then push this area too. And at the end, the ass becomes something like half a donut. Let me draw it to you. So, like this. Half a donut, this is the whole of the donut. Something like this, it becomes the ass. Until here. So, that's our uh, goal, to make the ass like this. We cannot make the fart anymore, because it's not... Uh, it's not 2D, it's 3D. It's, in 3D, the fart will be far more difficult to make than in 2D. That's why 2D is easier in some areas, some points. Here I will push it a little bit back, maybe, because I want this to be a little bit thicker. I don't want this to be very thin, because this is the beginning of the leg and it should be kind of thick. Maybe not the thickest point, but you should pay attention to the thicknesses of your uh, things, you know, the things. And also, always work with reference. That's the most important things. Try to understand the forms. I'm explaining here some of them, of course, but not everything. Because for everything else, uh, you probably should go to one of my anatomy courses. I, I'm, I know, I know, I know. This guy, he uh, promised to explain uh, to us and he now is uh, advertising his courses. Uh, fuck this guy and stuff like this. Okay, but the idea is that I have to live from something, you know. I'm no longer working in the game industry, I'm no, lo no longer working anywhere. I just feed from my courses. So yeah, I have to advertise on some time. Sometimes. Now, let's see. To make it better, we can always make this bump in here a little bit. And then the calves to go behind. Because the calves are behind. They, they should be behind this bump in the side of the knee, which is this bump in here, you see? This bump is inside of, the, it's it's here. So we make it, and then the calf, the inner calf will go behind it. I will smooth it a bit because it's too thick for my taste, 
Let's see how the, the feet will work. By the way, the feet, we will not make them. I will make them just very, very simplified feet because we don't want them. We don't need them. There will be a separate video, most likely for the feet only. But as, as you can see, with the mirror modifier in Blender, in ZBrush, uh, is there a mirror modifier in ZBrush? I, I'm not sure. But in Blender, with the mirror modifier, you can make it very nicely because it will allow you to sculpt the inner portion of the leg without any issue when you just disable the modifier. You can just disable the mirror modifier, work on the inner portion of the leg, and then enable it again. It's that easy. Oh, this is too much outward. I just fix a few things here of the feet and wrap this video up. So, let's wrap it up a little bit. Let me just show you what I did here. Uh, this is more action pose than our... Uh, this is similar than, than here. But you see what is happening here, this curve. Forward curve, overall forward curve, looks like forward curve, and then backward curve. So, forward, backward. It's like a flow. You always should have this flow. And this flow, in this case, should go like forward, and the backward curve shouldn't go like this. It should go forward curve, and then the backward curve should be below it, kind of, you know. So, if we go down from here, like uh, something, we go like down from here, down. It's uh, I cannot make a straight line. It's going almost to the end of the fingers. It's not quite there, but it's kind of there, you know. That's why, you, that's how you know that it's, uh, it's an action pose. It's more like, you no. Know, if you bend the knees, if you make the knees like here, and then the the feet like this like this you can do this of course but it he will look like he is about to go to poop you know like uh, i'm going to which is never an action pose it's never good it's never uh, likable likable is when the legs are very straight and the pelvis is we can put the pelvis even more forward let's see and this here even more forward and it will be even more action pose you see that's what I'm trying to tell everybody. Uh, that's what I'm... Um, I'm seeing a lot of these mistakes. To make the legs bent. Don't make them bent to a, like a normal pose. Don't do this. Just fix it. <laughs> fix yourself. Don't do this. And we'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, the Maybe the knees are a little bit too big. But it's fine. Yeah, we cannot exactly... I told you, uh, the proportions of the legs... Let me tell you a little bit about the proportions and we end this video. So the proportions usually are like this. If we look at the, length from, uh, the leg from the front, but you can always check your proportions from a real one. For example, here is your uh, point of rotation of the leg itself. This. And around here is where this... Uh, the bone here is ending, which is the femur bone. So this is the distance. And this distance usually should be equal to the distance from the middle to the ground. So these two distances should be equal. This should be the middle. So this position here should be the middle between here, because here is the point of rotation, and the ground, which is around here. Usually, that's the proportion, you know. Uh, if your distance, one of the distances is bigger, then your model will look a little bit odd. So, middle of the knee, which is usually the, you know, the length of the, of the, of the femur here. This is the femur. This, this bone that is here, it's called femur. It's around like this. Let's say it's very big. It's one of the, maybe the biggest bones. Something like this it looks. Like and here we have two bones in the in the bottom. Fibula and tibia or whatever. I, I'm not exactly sure of the names. And here we have the kneecap. But the idea is that these two bones of the bottom here, they are smaller in the, in the length uh, than the femur, than this big one. But if we add this distance to the ground of the feet, then they should be almost equal. 
that's your leg. All right, so as you as you can see, we're going outward a little bit like this. Then we're going outward again and then in. Then a straight line. Then we go out again and in. And in the inner portion, mostly flat. Out here like this. This should be it. I mean, amazing video about anatomy or basic forms of the legs. Yeah, sometimes it runs away. My model, but when I press home, it just comes back home. It's it's normal. When you press home, it should be, be home. So remember, very much, if you like my way of explaining, don't hesitate. Just go check out my courses in the link in the description. They are in RStation, they are in Udemy, whatever you like. And yeah, that's it. By the way, also, for those of you who don't know, I have another channel, link in the description also, where I do lives. Like recently, I do it uh, twice a week. Twice a week, I do lives. I do some, um, you know, interesting talks. It's more like a talk show, but I sculpt interesting characters. Very, very cool. You can check it out, of course, if you like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. If you like it, maybe you should, you should subscribe. But it's not necessary to subscribe. Many people say, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the bell icon, smash the subscribe button. I don't care. I mean, it's for me, I don't make money from YouTube. I make money from my courses. So for me, subscribing is not necessary. Although, eh, if you like it, why not? I'm just uh, working a little bit more on the, on the feed because I like them to look a little bit better in the thumbnail image, but they probably will not look super good. It's just the way it is. All right, guys, bye for now. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Probably we will make a video about feet. And I have a lot of requests about forearm. So probably I should do a video, a separate video about the forearm, which I have a video about arm, if you check my, this channel, I have a video about the whole arm with the shoulder and everything. And also the forearm is there. So uh, yeah, probably I should make one only for the forearm if people so much want it. We'll see. Bye for now.